Hi guys, this is Matthias, and yes, so we finally have Battlefield 2042 Season 6 Dark Creations out. And uh, I've been playing this uh, game, this update, for a few hours during the stream. And uh, starting off here on the new map, it's called Redacted, I believe. And uh, uh, first experience was actually this graphical glitch that you see here. I thought I would fall through the floor here, I've done that in the past in Battlefield 2042, uh, but uh, it was just, um, I believe, a seemingly uh, graphical glitch, it didn't have much impact, at least not on my gameplay, aside from the fact that you can't really see where you're going, um, what kind of walls or obstacles is actually going to block you or your bullets, so a little bit of those problems, but Actually, I had some of those similar problems that I've heard a lot of people, uh, a lot of other people had also. Um, I've had several crashes, and after the first crash, and I restarted the computer and the stream and everything, this graphical glitch actually went away. And even though I had several right, more crashes after that, okay. this graphics glitch only happened in the beginning. So. I was lucky enough to join a squad of really, really experienced players. As I'm sure you know, I've been playing Battlefield 1 for the last year or so, and I've been completely oh. away from anything related to Battlefield 2042, something that uh, made it a little bit tricky, actually, to get back into the game. And, uh, yeah, that is one of my <laughs> proudest moments, trying out the game again because of this update. Funny how this map kind of looks like a graphics card from above like that, or well, maybe just a little bit. So yes, there has been a lot of reported problems, but as far as I know, not any severe problems. I know um, there was uh, several fixes discussed during the stream, and uh, some of them are related to the normal, um, just fixing the EA app, or restarting the computer, or stuff like that, or maybe you just have to live through a few crashes and uh, wait for dice to fix it on their end. Uh, it's nothing unusual when they fix stuff in games, or when they update games, it happens. Now, again, I have been uh, playing Battlefield 1 the last uh, year or so, and uh, a couple of things that was really hard to get back into was, of course, understanding what weapons to choose, what weapons are good for what situations, and uh, I had some trouble um, getting my mouse sensitivity settings when it comes to the relationship between um, uh, normal hip fire and aiming down sight. The aim down sight took me a little while to figure out, but I, I think I'm, I'm getting closer. I was, at the, I was quite close at the end of the stream anyway. Now, I used uh, three or four different SMGs. I can't really decide which one I like or what attachments that I want to go with, but uh, I did later on in the stream uh, decide to... Or it, it was one of the guys, I wish I could credit the right person here, I don't remember the name, but... Uh, apparently, if you get a hundred kills with the AK-27, you unlock the AEK, which is one of the iconic weapons from Battlefield 3. I think there was another criteria also, but for me, I just needed to get a hundred kills with the AK-24, uh, I think it's called. And while doing that, I actually started enjoying the AK more and more. And I'll show you quite a bit of that in on another map later on in this video. And also, of course, a few kills with I the AEK, because I was able to unlock it just before I decided to finish the stream. So you'll see at least a few kills with that weapon as well. So, what about this game now? Is this a game that is worth playing? Has this game made any significant improvement since uh, we played it? We started playing it about two years ago. And uh, is this a game that can bring back some of those people that were really, really disappointed when this game was first released? Honestly, I am. A l I lean a little bit towards the n uh, the negative side on that. If you still don't like this game, um, I don't think, uh, or if you haven't already decided that you like this game, I don't think this update particularly is going to change your mind. Now, in my opinion, the game is consistently getting better and better for each update, and in my opinion, the maps are great, the gameplay is good, it really is. It, 
It reminds me about the Battlefield 3, Battlefield 4, some variety of that, but some more futuristic version of that. The weapons behave kind of like, like that. You have this modern uh, feel to it. I don't know if there is some futuristic aspect of this game. I don't think so. Maybe it is, or maybe all of this is within the realm of possibility or actually does exist in real life. Um, I, I probably, it, it probably is, I just don't know that much about military equipment, weapons and so on. Now, any hardcore Battlefield 1 player is going to be very, very hard to convince to move to another game. Battlefield 1 is one of the most iconic battlefields ever, I believe. It's one of the most unique, one of the most successful, one of the most loved game. And uh, if you love that game, and you're looking for another game, I don't know, man. I don't know if it's ever gonna happen. But, um, I gotta say, I'm going to continue trying out this game a few more, a uh, few more streams at least. That is a promise. Will I go back to Battlefield 1 again? Probably. I'll probably, uh, I might actually switch it up between two games for a while. And even though there was no shortage of uh, funny, um, kinda, uh, silly remarks regarding this game during the stream. You guys are you guys are just hilarious. I, I love all the comments in the comment section during the streams. And uh, yes, I did. I did actually wear sandals with socks during the stream because of uh, some of uh, yeah some of where the comments were going. Yeah, it, it's. I, I, I'm, I don't even know why I'm trying to explain it. You, you, you had to be there to understand why that was funny. Anyhow, the AK, AK-24, right? I, I always want to say something with AK-47 or AK-4 or something. It's AK-24, and uh, I really started enjoying this game. It is. Um, a, it takes a little bit of control, but it has this more classic. Um, a recoil control requirement that I have uh, been specializing in and uh, learned to master quite well in other games. Battlefield 1 doesn't really have this kind of recoil pattern. It doesn't really have the the standard, how do I say it, the standard recoil patterns that mostly just move upwards. Um, so this is actually, um, once you get the hang of it, controlling recoil in Battlefield 2042 is much more similar to uh, what it was way back 10 years ago when, as far as I know, most games were somewhat like this. And uh, not, th there are even, there are even easier weapons to control, there are attachments that makes the weapon easier to handle, but uh, you can shoot at quite long range with the AK with quite oh, reliable damage and uh, reliable kills. Now, if you, like me, are using the AK for the sake of just unlocking the AEK, uh, the, yeah, again, going back to that uh, very popular weapon from Battlefield 3, keep in mind that AEK is a very, very different weapon. It's more like a SMG, actually. Much higher fire rate, not nearly as good at range, um, a lot more recoil, and uh, yeah, it's it's just uh, it, uh, some people um, some people kind of compare it to an SMG actually, and um, I don't know if I agree with that perfectly, but it's uh, there's de they definitely have a point. I understand the point, so uh, I'll definitely try out the AEK uh, more in uh, at least if I play on those more close quarter combat uh, maps where otherwise I might play with the UMP or the MP9 or something like that. I think the AEK would be good for that. And uh, yeah, I hope I will see you guys in the next live stream. I'll continue here with Boris and uh, McKay. And yes, thank you all for watching. Oh. 
How much can that thing take? <clears throat> this <laughs> he wasted all his bullets. Leaving the US. Is the game dead in the US? Uh, I don't think so. Oh, nice. I like it. These games are normally the same in Europe as in US. Yeah, at least Battle 1 is uh, very similar. I mean, I'm just assuming it. Major located! 170 meters!
B. Fucking mother! the same attachment is because that's the weapon I unlocked it with. It's nowhere near as good a range though. This is more of a close range weapon. 